Hey everybody, Steve here coming at you with another Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 video. Do me a favor, if this is the first video of mine that you've bumped into, check the description below for a playlist that has a lot more videos on this incredible little quad. Stemming from some of my other videos, I've had a number of questions regarding the Tiny Hawk buzzer, and that is actually something that I didn't touch on in any of the other videos, so let's do it now. As always, in an effort to save time, and make the video as quick as possible and get you the information that you need. I'm just gonna do all the data entry into OpenTX Companion. Um, I'm running OpenTX Companion 2.3.10. If you haven't done the update yet, got a video on that too, but let's move on. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my model. Here's the Tiny Hawk right here. And first stop is going to be on the input screen. And I'm going to go to input number seven, and I'm going to name it Buzz. And the line name is going to be Buzz. And the source that I want for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use my toggle, which is my SH. Right there. You can use whatever you want. Uh, my other two position switch, which is SF, is already set to armed. So this is the one that I decided to select. All right, so moving on, we've got buzzer on um, input seven and SH. I'm gonna go to mixes. All right, so on the mixes screen, I'm gonna go ahead and click on channel seven. I'm gonna name it buzz. And I gotta find it on this list here. There it is, input seven buzz, like so. And I said that I wanted it on my SH switch. And I really want it when the SH is in the down position, like so. Boom just like that all right that's it it's that simple okay well maybe it's not that super that's super simple but next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come up to file and i'm going to save and now i have saved here and then the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to push this information to my radio which means all right so t4 and t1 together give us some power like so and you're gonna get that prompt, and we're gonna pop them up on edge, and plug her on in, like so. All right, we got our two windows popped up. We can go ahead and minimize those for right now. Go ahead and zoom, zoom in so you can see the USB connected. All right, so that's what you wanna see is USB connected. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is come up to read write, and I'm gonna write it to the radio so that the information is there. Now the information should be on the radio. Pull the USB cord, go to exit. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to model and page over and there's my SH and then go to mixes. And if I come down, there's my SH and if I put it in the down position, it should highlight and it does. So that is good. I know it's working there. All right, so next step is to plug this little guy in, like so. And who noticed what I did here? Props off, anytime I add uh, power to the quad, I take the props off. And you know what, with this little Tiny Hawk, maybe this guy's not gonna hurt you very much, but when you start getting into um, five, six inch quads and bigger, you're gonna wanna have those props off, just a safety thing. Trust me on that, please. I have spent the day at the emergency room, got hit by a 12 inch carbon fiber prop. All right, so now that it's plugged in, we can bounce over to beta flight. We're gonna go ahead and hit connect. And I'm gonna go to the receiver page and just kind of test my receiver here. Everything's working. Now when I throw my SH switch, you can see that my aux three is going. That is my Q. So SH is connected to aux three. I'll move over to modes. And these are the modes that I've set up in previous videos. And then I'm gonna come down to beeper. Here's the beeper. I'm gonna go ahead and add a range for the beeper. I'm gonna throw my switch. It's way over there. So let's go ahead and move this guy over here. Throw the switch again. It's good, but it doesn't mean anything until you save. So I save and throw the switch. And you can see that the switch is in the range and the beeper orange light is on. So we're good there. We can go ahead and disconnect. All right, so we bring the radio back in the mix. I can go ahead and unplug this. Lost. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it some power. Like so. 
All right, so she's back on. And now, now when I throw my SH, I get the beeper. Uh, one of the questions was, um, can I use a switch, throw the switch and have it continuously beep? Um, I put it on SH, but when I hold it in the on position, it continues to beep. Okay, so from that, I'm going to gather that if I had put it on a different switch and I threw the switch and just let it go, it would continue to beep. So hopefully that answers the question for that specific um, person. But setting up the beeper is pretty easy. You know, it seems like a small thing, but the buzzer's already integrated into the Tiny Hawk, so I highly recommend that you do it. Uh, it seems unnecessary until you lose your quad, and then it seems very, very, very necessary. Uh, the beeper has saved my ass many, 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 many times. All right, as Forrest Gump would say, and that's all I have to say about that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some benefit out of it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell so that you get notifications of future videos that come out. So if you really, really like the video, do me a favor, go out there, share on social media, tell somebody. Get somebody in the hobby, because I'm going to tell you right now, if you think flying is fun, it is way more fun when you're out there with a buddy. So, I'm Steve, signing off. See you in the next video.